What's up guys and welcome back. Today we're checking out Lars Ulrich playing the song Sad But True live with Metallica. Now the guy is a legend in the metal scene as Metallica is a legendary band in the metal scene. But the dude gets hate all the time with, uh, you know, people talking about his snare sounds like crap. And he's always off time or something. But I've always thought he's a great drummer. But this video is taken from like a month ago. So let's just see how, uh, how bad Lars Ulrich is if he's actually bad. So let's check this out. <laughs> Cool that, sounds, set. that sounds pretty good. Reminds me of a B or California. something. Uh, look, <laughs> uh, Lars, I love you as much as any as the next metal head, but uh, please, please don't don't spit on me, man. Don't spit on me, bro. Like at the beginning of the at the beginning of the song and everything. You know, if you're in that show, if you're in that crowd right now, you got old man spit all over you. Oh, oh. <laughs> Anyways, let's 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 move on past that. Let's, let's focus on the drumming today. Oh, come on. What's next? to snot rocket. Yeah, hell yeah. Eight head sticks, got the wraps on there and everything. Okay, he is a little bit off time. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna harp on it too hard, but he is a little bit off time here. Maybe they can't hear each other too well. Dragon behind. I can't tell if it's him or the guitar player. Okay, okay. You know, I'm no like super professional drummer or anything, and this is almost the end of the video, anyways. Um, the dude, the dude's off time, right? Am I not? Am I the only one hearing that? Okay, okay, okay. So we gave we gave Lars a shot. Um, now he is a legend in the metal scene, right? He, he has been uh, doing this Metallica thing for a very long time. Influenced a hell of a lot of drummers and all that good stuff. But uh, ooh, I don't know what was going on with this performance. I've honestly never heard him play this off time. And uh, oh, this damn spit again, motherfucker. Anyways, um, yeah, I I don't know, man. And it seemed like he was kind of improvising fills here and there. 
I, I could be wrong um, because I'm not a huge Metallica fan and I'm not like listening to their songs over and over again. I just hear them on the radio all of, all the time and kind of, you know, blank them out, whatever. Um, <laughs> uh, so I don't know what to say about that, you know. Um, love the dude, but uh, oof, that performance, man. I'm, I'm going to say maybe it was a bad uh, connection between what they're hearing from each other. He's got in ears in, it looks like, right? So maybe he's not hearing the guitar as well, or the guitar players are not hearing him, and there's some sort of disconnect there. Or, you know, Lars is just bad, apparently, from what a lot of people say. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a, I'm not a professional drummer. I've played live before and stuff, but um, as a guitar player, so I've never played drums live, and uh, yeah. Yeah. I can't really speak too much on uh, what's going on here, but it sounded off to me. And being a, a huge performance like this, being Metallica of all bands, you know, you would think it sounded nice and tight and and uh, professional. But whatever, they did their thing. I'm sure they made a lot of money from it, and we're sitting here on YouTube talking about it. So <laughs> let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments below. Was he off time? Was was I just not hearing it right? Um, and your thoughts on Lars in general, man. Let me know. Um, I, again, I think he's an amazing drummer still, even with, with this performance. The dude's having a hell of a time. I mean, just look at him going. Uh, the dude's having a great time, so you can't hate on that.